Hi, welcome to Health Vision. I'm Jackie Wolf, Associate Professor of Social Medicine at Ohio University. Today I'm talking to Michael Lucas, a certified rolfer who's worked with the U.S. Olympic synchronized swimming team. Thanks for being here today, Michael. Thank you, Jackie. Tell us what rolfing is. Well, rolfing was started by a woman named Ida P. Rolf, and she was a doctor of biochemistry. Here in the U.S.? In the U.S., yes. And um, after she did her doctorate in biochemistry, which was in the 1920s, she worked for the uh, Rockefeller Institute for some time uh, doing research. Um, she sort of developed her notions of rolfing, as it's called, but she called it structural integration. Obviously, she wasn't so egotistical that she was calling it rolfing right. back then. Right. Actually, it's her students that coined that phrase. Um, so she started the uh, notion of what structural integration was <coughs> excuse me, in the 40s and 50s. And her notion was basically that, <coughs> excuse me, I think I need a drink. Do you know what even prompted her to, to look into what she called structural integration? Here she was a biochemist. Right. What was it that even I interested her? In well, it was her curiosity in the human body, of course, because biochemistry is the science of the human body. And she was a New Yorker, and in her neighborhood in Brooklyn, she had a, a neighbor with a child who had had an accident. And that child had some difficulties walking. And so <coughs> the, um, the woman who had the child came to Ida and asked if she had any advice of what to do for this child. And Ida said, well, she would work with her. And she started to actually do body work at that point. And it was just sort of something that sort of developed. And as she realized working with this child and she helped her regain her basic body function so that she could walk normally again, is that by working on the structure and the myofascial system in the body that you could create this relief in a particular problem this young girl was displaying. I explain what you mean what, by body work and you referred to the myofascial system. And obviously, it was structural integration, what, what Ida Rolf referred to as structural in inter integration, had to do with working on the fascia. Explain what those things are. What did she mean by body work? And what is okay. the myofascial system? Well, the myofascial system is all the soft tissue in the body, basically. Uh, that would be muscles, tendons, ligaments, and then um, the viscera. Um, fascia itself is a container for all of those parts in the body, and fascia also interweaves with those tissues throughout the body. So if you were to cut a grapefruit across the equator and take out all the fruit, what you would have is the structure inside the grapefruit that you would see is the containers for the fruit. Fascia acts the same way in the body. It, it creates a container around everything in such a way that if you were to take everything else away, you would have a perfect blueprint of the body as a fascial container. It gives us our structural integrity, and that's thus where the word structural integration comes from, because you're working with the fascia as well as the soft tissue in the body <coughs> to help change the structural support system. Um, as time goes on, sometimes basically life things that happen, genetics, uh, repetitive motion patterns, um, traumas of various sorts, they have a tendency to contract and shorten these containers and get them bound up. And then it starts to make your body compensate in unusual and strange ways that sort of affect your function. Let's, let's take a look at uh, and li listen to one of your clients talking about her experience with rolfing, and then we can actually see what rolfing is, and we'll talk about it a little bit more. Good. I've been coming and seeing Michael for rolfing since April of 2005. I came for some postural realignment and for pain I was having in my neck and shoulders and I've already completed a series of like 10 to 12 treatments and I continue to come approximately once a month here in Athens for maintenance therapy. I have had a couple car accidents in the past before and then working as a nurse and as a massage therapist myself I just have problems that I need dealt with on a regular basis to help me to continue what I do. The rolfing therapy has helped me and I have less pain and my posture has improved and my 
skeletal wound misalignment is better where I had a little bit of scoliosis going on. Michael's helped me with that. How is rolfing different from massage? Because what, what we were looking at, it does look somehow more intense, a little bit more intense than massage, but mm -hmm. how is it uh, qualitatively different? Well, massage is different in, certainly in the way that um, it's more based on trying to just create better circulation and lymph flow in, in the body system and also to relax the muscles. Um, rolfing is very specifically working very methodically through the whole structure to kind of bring it back into alignment. Um, we don't use any lo uh, oils or lotions either when we're doing the rolfing because you're trying to contact tissues at a, at a certain level and those lotions and oils don't allow you to really kind of contact the tissues and get them to move appropriately. So it's, it's very kind of uh, strategic in the way you work with the body and um, it has to do more with the quality of touch that you're uh, affecting to get the body to really change. So. Now when someone comes to you for the first time um, for Walfing, there's a series you go through, series of 10. Right. So my assumption is that when, you, when someone comes to you, they don't get the exact same treatment every single time. What is, what is that series of 10 that you start with? Describe that. Well, that series was devised by Ida, and she called it a recipe. And basically the recipe is to um, work methodically, sort of in an order, to get the body to change. Um, she found that doing things in a certain kind of uh, methodical way and in an order you would normally get the most appropriate and best change to happen for somebody's structure. Um, we don't always use the same formula with every person but as you start you start to open up the sleeve of the body to get to the deeper core issues. Now what does that mean sleeve of the body? Sleeve of the body is the, the more peripheral kind of spaces in the body. Um, the extremities, of course, um, but also um, to kind of bring those extremities back into balance with the core. Not only do we work with that notion in mind, but we're thinking about the front of the body as opposed to the back of the body and each side of the body and how the legs relate to the torso and how all of that comes together to create the human experience in, a, in sort of this balanced fashion. And I would imagine you're also, if someone comes to you with a specific problem or had a specific accident that they're trying to recover from, that that would also influence how you approach that yes, person. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And how would that change then <coughs> how you... <coughs> well, if somebody's coming for, let's say, for example, an automobile accident and they're going to have more problems potentially in their neck and shoulders because of a whiplash, then you want to give them immediate relief from that as much as you can, but you focus on the larger picture of what is happening in the overall structure that would also be contributing to that tension that is you know, kind of brought on by the trauma of the car accident, but also so that when you deal with the trauma that you can help to establish a baseline so that the body can help get to a better place of health and well-being so that they can get rid of their pain and problems. 